Why hello there, welcome back, hope you're well and doing great on this lovely sunny sunny day. I know it's not sunny but you know I'm just trying to be a little bit funny. But anyway we're back and we have some interesting developments regarding Burke Kreischer, some very interesting and peculiar developments regarding how he seems to be interacting or digesting some of the feedback and some of the pushback that's been given to him via the Two Bears One Cave podcast. Myself, you know, I took a bit of credit for maybe ruffling the feather somewhat with some other previous videos I've done, calling out his annoying tendencies, maybe, you know, pointing out some things that I weren't a fan of. And I took some credit for that. I claimed it. I decided in a claim war, I was going to claim the fact that I happened to get under his skin which was not my intention not my intention whatsoever because like I said in another video I'm actually a fan of the guy I think he's actually pretty good pretty decent to take in small doses as per usual his actual show the Burt Cast is maybe one of my most favorite to listen to when it comes to interviewing right he's actually unironically maybe one of the better interviewers within that little LA comedy scene circuit of people right he seems to have a tendency or a great way to kind of dissect and to really tell a story about how he came up and get to the heart of the issues and he's talking to the guests that he's talking to so it's actually a pretty good balance in terms of how he's able to act on that for some reason but for some reason i'm not too sure what it is maybe it's just him maybe it's a lockdown driving him crazy maybe it's excessive alcohol consumption maybe it's the fact that he can't go out and perform on stage scratched that needs to be scratched sorry it's not getting scratched and then he's having to take it out and pocket but whatever it is the worst representation of Bert Kreischer comes on two bears one cave i think anybody even fans can agree with that and i think it's perfectly fine to point out and say hey i think i like you in small doses you're probably at your worst on two bears one cave because tom sakura is a great balance in that because he just allows you and enables you to just go completely insane on that thing and just talk about yourself for hours on end there's actually a funny comment on one of the recent videos where someone says if you keep fast forwarding into random sections of the video you just find just clips of Burt Kreischer talking to himself and about another story he's mentioned about himself again for the millionth time but he's finally decided to kick back he's finally decided to push back against the haters and declare that we are nothing more than what did he say jealous no we're not jealous that we basically are hating him because we can't do the thing that we he does because he happens to be an alcoholic and he knows it but he's just smarter and he's better than us because he's successful pretty weird thing to say right it's a pretty interesting thing to say because there's interesting rabbit holes you could go down right um are the only fans young ladies better than you and i because they decide they find out a niche that they can kind of exploit to their monetary benefit are they Hmm, who really knows? But hey, this is Burt Crash's opinion. I'll play a little clip kind of dissecting or you know, a, play, a clip of him actually speaking about the issue itself and then we'll continue on from the other side. I saw that Jesus. and I was on the treadmill and I laughed myself off the treadmill. Oh, that um, is a really re ridiculous gummy worm. Dude, uh, I don't, I don't, because you never know how people read things. Yeah. Like, because you, because I think it's, I can say it to you fine. Yeah. That's why I like, I go. And I'm, no one watches this. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but like if once you write it, yeah. then it's like totally different. Yes. You, and then even if you say it, they'll just grab the bit mm -hmm. and then go, what was the thing? Uh, like a uh, clickbait. Yeah. I was saying to this, uh, to Nadav earlier. You're a clickbait hoe. I'm a clickbait moron. Yeah. Like I'm the guy that gets outraged at the title. And then I watch the video and go, oh, that's not fucking bad at all. Yeah. If I get outraged at the title. And you're exactly who it's targeting. Exactly. I mean, I, by the way, I guarantee you I have the, I have just below the average intelligence of American. <laughs> that's funny. Like I, I would, I would argue I'm smarter because I make money. You know, like I look at some, yeah. like I know there's, I know hmm. there's actual, like I was thinking about this. I know there's people wa that watch this show that don't like me, that, that like, or like our show. But they don't like me, and they're they're uh, skinny, and they're losers, and they do drugs, and they're alcoholics. But then they go, "He's just a fucking alcoholic. He's yeah. just a fucking alcoholic." Guys, yeah. I read your comments. He's just a fucking alcoholic. He's a fucking moron. Yeah, I'm actually smarter than you, and so you need to realize that. Like yeah. that, you who hate me, yeah. I'm actually better than you. Yeah. And so, and I. <laughs> okay, <laughs> weird comment to make, right? I'm actually not skinny. I guess I'd say I'm in between whatever he is and whatever skinny is. If there's a medium ground between Tony Hinchcliffe and Bert Segura, I somehow lie right slap in the middle of that, right? But it's an odd comment to make, isn't it? Because there is some genuine criticism being levied at him, which can, you know, is valid. 
the fact that he maybe does, you know, take over conversations, talk incessantly about himself. Philip is a comedian. He has to be somewhat self-centered and narcissist and, you know, sociopathic or narcissist, whatever that, whatever one you want to throw at him, fair play. But in terms of a podcast, it doesn't make for good, entertaining listening. And considering that it's the same band of like 10 to 15 characters on each podcast repeating the same stories, it gets a bit trite when one person tries to basically have command of the whole conversation. It doesn't really ring true to actually providing entertainment entertainment shows entertaining shows i would say that's just my opinion in that regard right and uh, this idea that because he's made he found a way to you know make money and become successful at stand-up is insane because no one's doubting his actual talent itself on stage you watch his special right um what's it called them um, happy go time go time happy i don't know one of those shows right one of those stand-ups i watched like the first 20 minutes of it it's flipping solid he's a great stand-up comedian maybe one of the better ones out of his crew because he can actually write jokes he can, he's actually a funny dude great one-liners great premises um I, i'm not really a fan again of the kind of you know uh make embarrassing your children for jokes and giggles on the stage but that's just me but hey he's a really funny dude but unfortunately when he gets on podcast he's just an insufferable personality to engage with or to consume any content for a long period of time and this is coming from somebody who listened to the podcast religiously i used to listen to it all the time it was probably one of my favorites out of the entire crew of people i really 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 enjoyed it and the reason why i enjoyed it because he was great at kind of breaking down the craft of stand-up maybe because he takes he's probably not takes it more seriously but he cares about being funny more than maybe his other peers who maybe acts as a business i'm not too sure but regardless of what it is like i said he's ironically one of the better interviews even though he interrupts a lot and even though he, he always kind of turns the conversation back to a story about himself he is really good at terms of interviewing he provided probably one of the better ones with that girl what was that girl the irish girl that went on the podcast and was complaining about not being able to do shows and stuff he held his home really well was very respectful gave some very good counterpoints he's a pretty decent interview and the other show he did recently with this other guy i forgot his name as well it's the second time he's been on there he was talking about his sobriety and his journey with stuff like that and you know considering you know Bill Crash is a functional alcoholic you would think it'd be a difficult conversation to have but he was pretty upfront and honest about his shortcomings blah 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 but in the last few years I can't be the only person that's noticed it's been really difficult to consume any content that just revolves around Bert solely being the main center of attraction or entertainment it's just hard to really finish those shows with just him on there it's just difficult that's why it works so well on the Bill and Bert show that's why it works maybe so well at times with two bears 1k that's why sometimes it works really well when he's in a crew of people and he goes on legion of skanks for instance it's not a bad thing to just point these out and it's not as if like your success is invalidating everyone's criticism and i think maybe he is right in the in the aspect of like maybe he is more harsher critics who are kind of not you know they can't figure out why somebody who happens to be so reckless happens to be so cumbersome happens to be so clumsy happens to be such an oaf is able to be so successful at this level maybe there are some genuine people out there that are thinking how this is possible life isn't fair or the unfortunate fact is life isn't fair we all know that sometimes the worst people the ones that don't really have the greatest of personalities are the ones that sometimes make it on social media or whatever in life that they're doing just because it's just how the cookie crumbles and it is what it is but there are some serious conversations to be had not serious i don't mean serious who really cares this is flipping all podcast entertainment anyway in the first place but <laughs> there are some general criticisms genuine ones that could be levied towards him that definitely hold some weight but hey maybe i'm in the minority maybe no one really cares you guess they get what the average about hundred thousand views per episode anyway for the most part everyone's okay with the shows but i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions what do you think do you think Bert crash is annoying or do you think people are just overreacting and not accepting him for the human being that he is let me know down below in the comments i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions and of course if it's your first time watching make sure you click like and hit that subscribe button see you soon